Okay, so we're just going to uh, show you how to change one of the reader heads in our scales. So first of all, obviously you, you take the, the scale off the machine. You undo these four screws here on the end cap. I've already undone them. Take the end cap off. That's what that looks like. Four screws inside, very small. Okay, the reader head, it may or may not have screws holding it onto the scale. You can take them out and then the reader head will slide out easily. They just slide out as easy as that and that's what they look like inside. So this is actually static sensitive so don't be uh, touching that with any uh, plastics. You can see the bag below me here, it's pink for a reason, it's static safe. Okay, so um, before you go and reinstall a new head, what you want to do is take these wipers out, and you see how easily they come out. Then look down inside and look for any damage on the glass, any dirt in there. Uh, so you want to get the dirt out first. Uh, probably take the other end, out, end cap off if you're going that far and then it's easier to get the dirt out. Um, clean it with white spirit uh, and a clean, clean blue roll uh, until it get, keep wiping with the blue roll until it goes clean. Uh, so once you've done that, inspect along, along the glass uh, with a light source and a magnifying glass and make sure you know, all the dirt is gone, uh, there's no cracks, there's no din, dings in the glass or anything like that. And once you're happy with it, then you can reinstall the wipers like this, very simply. And you just push in like that. Obviously you clean the wipers as well. If you need, this is actually a brand new scale, so they're clean anyway. Okay, so that's them in. So, then you want to put the reader head back in. So you need to make sure it's orientated correctly. So it came out like that. So the reader head you're taking out, note the orientation, and it'll make it easier for putting it back in. So the large end, the aluminium side, goes on the, on the larger side. See the glass slightly offset. You want to make sure that the aluminium part goes on the larger side, okay? And then can you see this little ribbon cable here? You want to make sure that sometimes they're quite a bit longer and they can stick out. And you don't want that ribbon cable touching on the inside of the aluminium. Because obviously it's just going to rub and down cause a problem very quickly. Okay, so make sure that's pushed in. Put the reader head in. Now normally I would do it in a slightly different orientation to make life easier. But for the sake of the camera, I'll do it like this. Okay, so you don't want to just make sure you're not, you should have to force it. So if you feel the resistance, like as normal, stop and rethink it. Okay, so the reader head's back in, end cap on, put the screws in. Screw all the four screws tight. Okay, and once you've done that, right, you're refitting the scale. So don't just put the screw, put, screw it back on. You must clock it up. You must clock it up. Otherwise, you could end with a broken glass, broken reader head, and so on. So you must clock it up as per the fitting instructions. Okay, so that was just to show you how to change the reader head. Okay. Uh, if your reader head is over travelled, you'll find that the reader head itself is another one. I'll just take this out for you so you can see it. So this is what they appear when you've got a, a replacement head. That's how they uh, arrive. So you undo these screws here. Okay. Right, so if your reader head has, has hit the end of the scale, you'll find this end has been damaged, or that end has been damaged, it rides up, and the, the cast is bent. So that's how it should look. So you can compare that to one if it's been touched the end here. And that's the most common cause of a reader head problem. And obviously when it rides up, it normally crunches the glass as well, and then drags that problem along. So just look out for that, okay? 
Thanks for watching.